How's it going YouTube? I've got a little job on the camper to do today. It'll probably be a quick video to be honest because there's not a lot to it. Let's go and have a look why I need a new table. Right, there's a new one. Let me get this out of the way a minute. I've not even opened it yet, so hopefully it's decent. I'll get it out of the way. Right, this table here, uh, as you can see, we've got the clippy rails. I've got that little centre clip there. What that centre clip does is that literally just lines it up to tell me where the good position is. The good position is relative to those seats there. So when you sat there, it makes a good position to have your lunch. Let me show you. Right, so when we're sat in these chairs here, this is a good position for the table here. You can eat your lunch from there. Uh, what I've also got is I've got the rotating chair at the front. This chair at the front, this one swivels round. So what I'll do now is I'll swivel it around so we can see. And then what you find is this table here is obviously miles away from this. So the person sat here doesn't really have anywhere to put your cup or anything else. So let's have a look. There we are, that's his front seat swiveled. I always keep it pushed right back. You can pull it forward and put these little swivel things back in the holes. But to be honest, I like it pushed back out the way to give as much room as you can inside the camper. As you can see, there's loads of room inside there. But the problem becomes when I'm sat there, uh, Mrs. like sitting here, making herself comfortable. I usually sit here. So. I've got nowhere to put my coffee, I've got a sandwich, I've got nowhere to put it down. This table's miles away. I can unclip it there and slide it to the end of the rail there. It's still a little bit out of reach, but then it makes it out of reach for that chair. As you can see, this is my usual spot. And I've got nowhere to put anything. I've got a bit here that I can put a cup on, but this has normally got a bit of all sorts on it, especially when, if we're cleaning things, that's like a, a bit of a draining area, so. I don't put anything on there. I want something here. Uh, this has fallen off again. That reminds me, I need to take those clips off there and make some new ones so this doesn't keep falling down because I absolutely shit myself when this just falls down when I'm driving. So I've been looking around on the internet and I've found some of these tables that you can... It's got a little arm that screws to the side here and it goes across and it's got the table that sits on there and they swivel out and come round so I can pull it out of the way or pull it back in when I need it. Or it can be out here if we've got the awning out. It gives like a little table outside. So I had a look around. Uh, you can buy the leg kits from various different places. I wanted somewhere that's got a little table as well. Transporter HQ do one that looks quite nice, but it was £240. That was a bit more money that I wanted to spend. So I found this one from Evo Motion Design. The one I got was £120 plus £10 delivery, so £130 in total. Uh, similar sort of thing to what the one at Transporter HQ is, but £100 cheaper. Uh, don't know what it's like yet, we're going to find out that together. They do different options, uh, you could, they'll do with and without bolts, I got it with the bolts just in case I've not got anything in the garage, and they do it with and without the table. Uh, this table I made myself as well as that worktop so that matches this formica that i've got on here i've got none of this left so what i did is i've got an option which was which should be pretty similar to this wood and as you can see i've got a dark gray trim on there so i've got the dark gray trim in that wood hopefully we'll see in a minute so hopefully it's quite close let me get a knife let's open this up and let's have a look As you can see, it all comes nicely wrapped up. Uh, what we'll do first is let's open this and have a look at this tabletop and see how it matches in. As you can see, uh, it comes without the trim installed. It's just a knock-on edging. The edge is already routed, so it's got the slot in. This is like a T-trim. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, this is a T-trim. So this literally, you just push it round the edge and then knock it in with like a rubber hammer or something or push it in with your thumb if you can't get it in find something hard but not a normal hammer 
uh, so like a hard rubber or something like that and just give it a tap round and it'll go round so we'll get that fitted in a second as you can see the match on the wood is almost perfect it, it's the same type of color uh, the trim as well is pretty spot on so this should be a good match to match in with the material that I've got already it's quite a small table which is exactly what I wanted there is some like cheap ones on eBay and they're, they're like a surfboard shape table uh, I didn't want one of those because it'd be massive going right across I literally just wanted a little table just to sit here so I can put a plate on it and put a cup on it so what I'll do is let's get this trim fitted we'll get everything else unwrapped and then we'll have another look at it uh, what I want to do is I want to start halfway down one of these edges here what i will do actually first is i'll cut this off nice and square i've got one of these cutters here this is for like electrical trunking and things like that so i'm going to use this to cut it with uh, but what you'd normally use is like a knife or something like that so now we've got a nice square edge on it now uh, what i want to do is i want to start halfway down one of these narrow edges so it's at the edge of the table out of the way where the joint is so what I'll do is I'll push this in and I'll knock this in all the way around until we get back to here again. I can't remember what I've done with my rubber hammer, so I've got a normal hammer here and I'm just going to wrap a bit of this rag around it just so I'm not marking the plastic with the metal. So I'll knock it in with this. Here we are back at the beginning so what we want to do is we want to cut this probably about one millimeter longer and then we can feed it in that bit first and then knock it down flat this will compress and it'll keep a nice tight joint here so that's what I'm going to do you can only just see the join there so that's nice and tidy so that's our table done and ready Let's get everything else unpacked and let's have a quick look at it all. As you can see, we've got enough trim to go around that table about three times. So if you mess it up, there's plenty there. There it is all laid out. Let's have a look what we get with it. Right, what we've got here, we've got the pole. Uh, it's got a nicely milled out little bit there. I'm assuming this goes at the top. So this will install there like that and then the table will go on there because you can turn the table 90 degrees to get it out of the way. It's a nice stainless steel as well actually. The ones that I've seen on like eBay and stuff they're like a, a chrome finish. This is a stainless steel. Uh, we've got a little plate here which will screw to the table. We'll get that in the right position later. We've got a load of screws here. Four screws will be for that and then the rest will be for these brackets here to screw all together on here. We've got this bracket here which I'm assuming goes down this bottom here. We'll have a look in a minute. We've got another bracket here, which I'm assuming will be the one halfway up there. We've got this little screw here, which I'm assuming goes in that one to tighten that up. And then we've got these milled bits here. I will assume that one of them will go on there. The other one will go on the other side of this and then we've got this bit here which will go through the whole lot and tighten it up and then it's got this bolt which will go through there and then i've got two end caps to put on the end of this right what i'm thinking is we need to get the bottom over far enough so all four of those screws are in and it's out of the way and it's not overlapping anything so this needs to be 90 degrees to make sure the table's level uh, I need this quite low so I can keep it straight but that should be fine about there what I'll do is I'll get this bottom one screwed in first and then once I've done that I'll get my spirit level out and we'll get this level here and I'll mark the holes for the top one and we'll get that in the right place so let's do that Right, bottom one's in. I think the most important thing is to get this bottom bracket in first so it's in a place where it's not sticking out anywhere. So I've put that as far out as I can where it's not overlapping this step. And then from there, I'll do the next one. So what I need to do is slip that in. I'll use my spirit level uh, to get it level on the top there so my table's level because I'm on a drive, it's pretty level here anyway. So if I get the table level at that, then I can mark up my screws there 
and I can screw them in at the right height uh, so it's as high as I can get it and not overlapping that out bit. Right, they gave these type of self-drilling screws, uh, but what I've done is I've opted to change the screws and I've gone for longer ones. The reason why is behind this, a little bit way back, there's a metal pillar. So what I've done is I've drilled straight through and I've gone into the metal pillar because what I want it to do is be a bit stronger just in case you lean on it for any reason and it's not just relying on this plastic trim. It is now screwed into the metal behind the plastic trim. Uh, right now the top, we've got it all level. I'll just loosen this off. So now it swings around and it can come outside the vehicle, inside the vehicle. You can remove it if you so wish the whole leg can come out so now what we need to do is get the table on right what i'll do is while i've got this level here i can use this as a straight edge and i can use this knife and we'll just find the center of the table just like that so then what we need to do is we need to get that screwed on in the center i need to get this square all right if i use this square a little bit bent on the end i bent that fitting the suspension on this uh we'll get that square and right i'll screw that down remember not to over tighten it because you'll just thread the holes then that's in the middle and there's our table so now we need to mount this to that bar right if i have a look from under here what we can see now is we've got this bolt through through this little clamp then it's got the clamp at the other side. If I undo this, we can slide that backwards and forward, you see. If I slide it forward, that'll enable us to turn it sideways. And you can see in the top there, that slot that it's slotting into. So in theory, what we should do is it should be able to pack away like that when we're not using it. When I want to use it, slot it up, turn it up slot it sideways, tighten it up. Uh, this pulls out and you can turn it so you can get it out of your way. Right, I've just had a slight change of plan with this. What I've done is I've taken that screw out because this one was just missing that metal behind. So I've put a bolt in it and I've got a knot on the back with a big washer. So now it's pretty solid. I can pull that quite hard and it's not going anywhere. A lot of this will depend on your trims. Uh, this used to be a Caravelle, this van, so these trims are slightly different to what you normally get. Uh, the ones with the bulkhead that you take out when you're making the camper, all this trim is completely different anyway. You can see mine's got vents in it there. So if you can get this further forward, you're better off getting it further forward because I've just looked behind and the metal ends about there. It's more or less straight down before that starts bending out. It's straight down and that's where the metal is. So if you can get that over here and screwed into the metal, that's a lot better. I've got one screw in the metal and the other one I've done like a, a washer behind. What I might do is I might take this screw out and put a, a riv nut behind in the metal so then I can put another bolt in just to keep it nice and uniform. But I need to take this off at some point anyway because you can see how it's all scratched and everything. Uh, what I want to do is get it covered like this one eventually when I get round to it. Uh, so let's put that table back in right once it's locked off uh, if we loosen it just a little bit it'll actually spin so then you can change the position of where you want it to be so if you want to bring it outside we can bring it outside change the position and you can have a nice table outside like that so if you've got the awning out you've got a table there that you can Put your drinks on or whatever uh, obviously because it spins we can put it in whatever position we want so what i'll do is let me get sat there let's see what it looks like we'll close this sliding door and see how it looks like inside i'll pull this in so we can close this sliding door so i can push it against the door keep it out of the way uh, i've got somewhere then to put my drinks on we'll have a look i'll bring the camera over this side so you can see in a second uh, but i can pull it out turn it round go that side against the door if i want got my little table there obviously it's loose at the minute you tighten it back up uh, but if i loosen it off then i can pull it to where i want so if i want to eat my lunch there i've got it don't worry about the wobbling so that is absolutely perfect so what i'll do is let's grab the camera and i'll show you how it looks from this position show you what sort of room we've got 
Right, there you are. That's against the door there. So I can sit here. Um, I've got loads of room there. Massive gap here to get out. And I've got a nice little bit to put my coffee on and probably a sandwich or beer or whatever I want. Turned around. I've still got plenty of room here. I can still get out. Really good, impressed with that. Right, so what I need to do now is I need to pull this out of the way, turn that chair around and we'll see how it packs away. Right, let's have a look how it's packed away. Um, it's not quite flush. It's flush at the top there, sticking out a little bit at the bottom, obviously, because it's straight down, as you can see there. For me, it's out the way enough. Obviously, long term will tell. Uh, this lever here, what I've found is it's best to point it downwards because of the angle of the seat. Like that, you see. It's tight up at the top and not so tight there. Uh, let's try it the other way around just to make sure. That's not bad at all, actually. Packs away nice. I mean, if it really annoys you, you can undo that and find somewhere else to stash it. Just take it out and stash it somewhere completely. But I think that's packing away quite nice. Right, so there you have it. Just a little job on the camper. Uh, one that I've been meaning to do for a long time and I should have done it a long time ago, to be honest. Nice little table. I'm going away soon, so I'll get to be able to test it properly. So I'll stick a bit of feedback on at some point uh, what I think about this long term. I'll put some links below of where I bought this from Evo Motion Designs. Um, I'm not affiliated at all. I paid for it myself. Well, what I might do now, actually, because I've seen that uh, their colour of wood matches mine and these grey trims match mine. Uh, there's a few other bits they do. They've got like a cupboard that goes up this back here. Uh, what I might do is eventually I might order that as well. And also uh, this top shelf here, they do like a proper cupboard that goes across. I might get that as well and change that shelf at some point into their proper cupboard. Uh, their units are actually quite nice. This whole unit setup here that I've got, when I built this, I kind of based it on one of their designs anyway. So but obviously there's a CNC cut. Mine was hand cut with a cross cut saw. So nothing's going to be as straight as a CNC. Uh, to be fair, I didn't actually save a lot of money doing it myself. I probably should have bought some really built units and then scribed them in and made them look fitted. But I built this all by hand. So like the video if you liked it, uh, subscribe to the channel if you've not already subscribed. So There's kind of random and bits of all sorts and I'll catch you guys later in another video. Cheers. Right, whilst I'm here, I'm going to take one of these brackets down so I can measure it up. I'm going to draw a new one out, make a better design and 3D print it. And I've made a new clip.